In this video, we'll use SPSS to conduct the analyses necessary to evaluate the outcome of the hypothetical factorial design study we presented in the chapter, Design and Analysis of Experimental Research 2. Our hypothesis in this example is that the effect of some experimental treatment on rhythmic performance ability will depend on whether someone is musically experienced or not. This is a classic example of what's described more generally as a moderation hypothesis. In this case, we are stating that we believe musical experience moderates the effect of the experimental treatment. Consequently, we could also describe the independent variable of musical experience as a moderator variable. An even more general way of describing this sort of hypothesis is to call it an interaction effect. In other words, we are interested in investigating how the independent variables of experimental treatment and musical experience interact to impact rhythmic performance ability. The data for this example can be found in the title a file titled Mixa and Elpis Factorial Design Rhythmic Ability Data. And so to evaluate this hypothesis, we'll need to run a two by two factorial ANOVA. Uh, we could also call that a two by two multi-way ANOVA. It's a synonymous way of describing these things. So to do that, we'll go to the analyze menu, find the general linear model menu, and then from there, click on univariate. And so as, as prepared here, you can see, we've in, you can introduce rhythm as your dependent variable, condition, or the experimental treatment or control as a fixed factor, and musical experience or inexperienced as a, another fixed factor. And so this analysis will look at the effects of each of these factors on rhythm, and then also the interaction of those effects. So we also want to plot. And what I like to do is often uh, describe the conditions as separate lines and then the other or the moderator variable or other variables as along the horizontal axis but you, you could there are pluses and minuses for visualizing either way so make sure you add that into your menu there and click continue and then we've also set it up here so we're getting the estimates of effect size as well for this result so if we click OK we'll get our output window and see we now have a description of the experimental condition and how the codes have been labeled. So zero indicates control group and one indicates treatment group. And there are 40 people in each of those. And a zero indicates the inexperienced people and one indicates the experienced people and there are 40 people in each of those groups too. And so uh, in the main outcome box here, the test of our between subjects effects, that we have several layers of information that uh, that isn't all really relevant or, or interesting for what we're going to report or what, uh, or what we need to interpret. So first of all, this bit here of corrected model and intercept is uh, interesting information uh, that goes into the calculation of these findings, but is not something you would write in a table uh, in an article or something that you'd interpret or write about or talk about. And so you can virtually ignore these for the moment uh, and when interpreting a simple factorial ANOVA like this. And in, what we want to focus on instead is the interaction effect of condition by experience. So we can look through here and say, well, it looks like there's a non-significant effect of treatment and a non-significant effect of experience, but those effects are really moot given that we have an interaction in the mix here. Why we would, would, be, would be necessarily be interested in whether treatment uh, control is better than the treatment effect uh, if we find that the control uh, versus treatment effect depends on experience. So we really want to focus on the interaction effect when we are looking at moderation hypotheses uh, and, and not worry so much about these main effects. So what we have here is a highly significant interaction effect and our eta squared value of 0.18 suggests that this is a, a moderate to large effect. And so in our visualization, we can see that interaction pretty clearly. Uh, an interaction, very clearly actually, an interaction will reveal itself uh, into the extent that lines in interaction plots are not parallel. And in here, they're very not parallel. And in fact, their uh, technical term for this is disordinal, that they cross over each other. And so in interpreting this uh, interaction effect, you can, you can look and see that uh, you know, the treatment was not always effective. The treatment seemed to be effective only for those who are experienced, whereas those who were inexperienced 
did just as well in rhythmic ability in the control group, it actually did perhaps better than those in, uh, in the treatment group. So we have this, this phenomenon here, this moderation occurring where the effect of the treatment is going to depend on whether someone has musical experience or not. And in this case, the treatment is only effective for those who are musically experienced. And so that's the basics for running a moderation analysis or a factorial ANOVA of any kind, essentially, in SPSS.